And hello, my faithful followers. Uh, where we left off on our last video, we were allowing our, um, our, our our farm to pretty much run itself. Now it looks like it's ran its course. So there's some things that we need to start to um, do on here. So let's get going with that. The first thing we want to do, normally when I log on, is I first thing that I try to do so let's go here first let's click on the red box and collect the gift we got tnt and then let's go and click on our truck right here so when we click on the truck we'll get xp as you can see we only need six more xp to level up to level 12 so this should do it once we click on the truck and it did now these are all the items that are that we just received a cheese which we can produce in the dairy these items here are for decoration we get one axe, one diamond, we get another feed mill, and we get one more chicken coop. So let's go continue. Uh, we can click on here again to see what's coming up in the next um, level, which is 13. So we'll receive indigo. You can get white sugar, which you make in the sugar mill. These items are for decoration, birdhouse, lily log, and tortoise. Uh, this is also decoration, and then we get three more fields. So that's what's coming up next. Let's go to, um, yeah, we got, with this level, we have the neighborhood request box. Well, we must join the neighborhood first. Okay, so let's do that. Let's click on our neighborhood house. Let's open that up. And this is your neighborhood house. And our scarecrow gives us a small tutorial. Let's zoom in so you can see what he says. Try it out. Join or create a neighborhood. So let's click on it. And it gives a whole lot of um, stats in here, recommendations. You can scroll through. Um, in these recommendations, you can see. Um, yeah, you can see what if people have put their title in there, what their neighborhood is about, how many members they have. Um, what type of farm. Sometimes you have to request to join. Sometimes other people's neighborhoods are just open. The maximum is always 30. And then every um, neighborhood has different languages depending on where you are. All these are English. Um, this My farm now is set to English, so that's why I should get a lot of English recommendations. Now, if you're looking for a different language or something like that, you just simply can go here to search, type in something... Um, Let's say I live in Germany, so let's just type um, German and just go search. And it should just list, these are the names of the neighborhoods. So somebody's neighborhood is German, and so they have 30 over 30 members. If you just click on it, it should give you the information about their neighborhood. They have 30 members, anyone can join, and so on and so, so on and uh, so forth. As you can see by their trophies, they don't really participate too much in the derby because they don't have any not too many first second or third place do you want to see the members or well if you want to join it you can join the group here by the tag and i will do another video uh, my next video will discuss um, this information here but if we click here on members yeah and then this shows the people that are in this neighborhood so that's your neighborhood house and so from there, let's go, we have our, this is our tickets, remember our movie tickets, when you click on that, it will give you, go through a small little uh, movie clip or advertisement is what it's going to do, it's about 30 seconds until you get up into a little bit higher level than that particular, uh, the time it takes, there is no movie, it goes away, so just click on it and you receive a, a, a gift, right now if you click on it, you watch a short, um, it's a short video or, or short uh, advertisement. And then you will get a gift. Uh, it should allow you to watch maybe two or three or four, depending on. Yeah, I don't actually know what it depends on, but it could, should you should at least watch one or two, maybe more. So just click clicking on it and getting your free gift, which I won't do because I don't want to spend the time to uh, take up on this video. So this is your wheel of fortune, as I discussed in a previous video. We spin it, and once you spin it, it stops somewhere. We get one pancake. Click on the pancake. We receive it. Now, at this time, we have the option to spin it again for one diamond, which I do not recommend. So I normally just take my one free gift a day, and then I just leave. So 
this is our red box. It comes up again, but you don't have to pay the. We already got the first one for free. This is our mystery box. Uh, pay the three diamonds if you choose. I never do it because I don't want to waste my diamonds. Uh, from time to time, the game will shut down or the game will do some type of updates. And usually the heyday is really good with giving you rewards or some type of uh, reward when they have to update their server or, when some, or something like that. And you can always find that right here. That's what this box is. So if we click on that box, then you will see they're thanking us for participating in the global event. So we claim our 10 diamonds. And what they are talking about from our global event, I had explained that to you last time here from the event board every one or two or three days or whatever the time schedule is for an event. It's always here on the event board. And see, our level is too low to participate in the event. We have to be at at least level 22. So whatever the event is, it could be just continue to send trucks. It could be, you know, just whatever is there listed on that board, which you do. And we get global rewards for that. You see our mailman. He just came and uh, dropped something off at our house. We have that guy. And then we also have the guy that, yeah, we have this guy. Yeah, he comes and he drops something. So he just dropped us off a gift. So we click on a gift that he dropped off. And let's see, he thanks us uh, for the latest update. Okay, so we updated here for the winter time, which everyone should have done if you are playing Heyday. Pretty much forces you to do an uh, update. So we get five diamonds, so let's claim it. So we just got 15 diamonds in less than five minutes for doing probably, for doing absolutely nothing, which is um, good, <laughs> definitely good. Okay, so from here, let's... See if we can move a little bit more and clear some of this land. We have one axe, so let's just move this. Let's clear that tree out. Do we have any saws? No. Let's see if we have something to... Oh, we have one TNT. Let's use it. And let's clear this water spot with the shovel. So you just drag it, and it automatically swipes it and takes it away. Now, here's another water spot. You can wait till you clear these trees to do this, or you can just... I just normally do it so that I can take down my barn storage, which each item that I use, it takes one away. The barn storage will fill up very fast in case you have not noticed, and so will your silo. Um, let's see, okay, we have some stuff in here. We have five things that they want us to take a look at. Let's click here. These are the direct decorations that we received that I've already shown you once we uh, upgraded to the, this level that we're on now. We'll go in here and see if we can purchase another feed mill for 3,200 coins. We have 697, so we need to continue to either give these people stuff or continue to send the trucks. Uh, you get the more money by sending the trucks or by putting your items in the shop for a uh, full price, depending on what you want to sell. Okay, now from here, let's go... Yeah, let's open up a machine. Let's open up this one. The smaller one is ready to go. Touch on it. Opens it up, and this is your barbecue grill. In the barbecue grill, you can make pancakes, and this is the this is what you need for pancakes. You need three eggs and one sugar, and we have that. So we'll drag it, let it go. It takes thirty minutes. We'll let that produce. We can also make bacon and eggs. We need more eggs. So we'll go up here, click on our chickens, grab our basket, drag, take them. And I usually immediately go right and feed them so I don't have to think about it later. Click back on the grill, take one bacon and eggs, put it in, let it go. And so that's those items are producing. Bacon eggs are waiting to be queued. While they're queuing, I will click on this, this uh, machine here and ooh, popcorn pot, popcorn. So... We grab a popcorn, it will take two corn. So we put one in and then put another one in and we will let those go. Those also take 30 minutes. But as you can see, it's another little popcorn icon here, which will be coming up a little later. I don't want to tell you what it is, but it'll be a different variation of popcorn. So this is what's going on for now. Like I said, the farm is pretty much running itself. We'll click back here because we have something in here. Oh, up here, here we go. So chicken coop so we can lay down a chicken coop we have one here and so we can lay another one down and put six more chickens in there if we choose 
And right now we will not. So what you also want to do is do not forget to click on your farm pass building here and get your new daily goals, which as you can see, so ten yeah, you know, so on and so forth. And here are your season goals. We haven't got anything towards the season goals yet except for spinning the wheel. Oh, and then we open up the little red box. So that's all that we have that's going towards our... Oh, no, we have more stuff towards the season goals. We have to feed 35 chickens. We fed 10. So as you continue to do these, I think I explained this before, in the farm pass, our chicken will continue to move along the road. Um, he's already at 9, so he's past this. So I can get... I can receive 110 XP. Just click on it. And there it is. Remember, not that I can't get anything on the top because you have to pay to get the pass. And here's the pass link. So if you click on get pass, it explains to you exactly what you are getting for the farm pass price. And if you just continue to learn more. So basically you pay this amount of money for the farm pass and it opens up everything in the top. And as your chicken moves along, whatever number it hits, you can get that item on the top. Remember, all the items on the bottom are for free once your chicken reaches that number. So I won't get this one until I get to 20. And so, which I had already explained before in my farm pass video. So the farm is going to go. Um, we'll just uh, continue to play on it and, 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 and get some more items made, get some more trucks sent, get some more land cleared. And we will see what comes up next. So. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.